thing it's thursday october 15th of 2020 and this video is being filmed at platte river state park in nebraska starting out in the wild strawberry cabins area and no doubt many of you have seen and exchanged facebook postings about all the crazy stuff that's been happening this year as 2020 started with the wrapping up of the trump impeachment hearings while the coronavirus news was just something at first we were hearing about was only a problem in one part of china and no one really expected it to find its way to the U.S. And now we see that a number of people we know have gotten sick from coronavirus, although most cases haven't really been worse than the common flu. The disease has been deadly for a small, very small percentage Although everyone has at least experienced a lot of inconvenience from what's going around. While at the same time, we're seeing all the news about political disarray, the rioting, and other hard times this year. And such a large part of the issue is that our society as a whole has gone through that falling away that was prophesied that we would see in these end times as we're getting closer to the tribulation and as we've been watching the signs especially these last several years it's been obvious the times that we're in but this year the fulfillment of Bible prophecy has rapidly intensified and so many people have such a wide variety in their beliefs as we start with 2nd Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1 this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, tradies, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. And now turning to 2 Timothy 4, looking at verses 3 and 4. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. So even though we're seeing a lot of things that we used to know as common sense and good moral standards in the past are now issues that we see many people arguing about in the news and just in our day-to-day -day life taking a look at Titus 2 for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us 
that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. And notice even though that verse mentioned good works, works isn't what gets us saved. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ who died and rose again so that we could choose to repent and believe and follow Christ is that gift of salvation and being faithful servants of Jesus Christ we choose to turn away from the sinful habits of the past and ask Christ into our daily lives and we have that yearning and desire to put Christ first in our lives rejecting sinful tendencies of the past for we are weak but he is strong and flipping over to the next chapter Titus 3 looking at verses 3 through 7 for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish disobedient deceived serving diverse lust and pleasures living in malice and envy hateful and hating one another but after that the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior that being justified by his grace we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life so this has been what they call Crawdad Creek the five ponds and connecting stream which jump into Jenny Newman Lake and moving along as we take a look at Habakkuk chapter 2 looking at verses 1 through 4 I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say to, unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at that end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith So even as we're seeing a lot of apathy and confusion out there these days, even among some people who proclaim to be Christians, these are certainly challenging times to be living in this secular world. Jesus Christ gave us the signs to be watching for of the end times. And even though it's abundantly clear the times we're in, there's still quite a few people who purposely are looking the other way and choose not to be aware. But another good point to make is that Bible prophecy isn't to scare, but it's to prepare. Even the more so as we're to be comforting each other, especially in these challenging end times. And taking a moment to look at Luke 21, verses 34 through 36. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with serviting and drunkenness and the cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass 
and to stand before the Son of Man. But it will be the worst time in world history for those who miss the rapture and live through the tribulation years. Taking a look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And taking a look at 1 Thessalonians 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. So, obviously, we're seeing the mockers and the scoffers who don't really believe that we have any clue as to when the Lord's coming will be, as the devil has a vested interest in people being unaware. Looking in Jude, which only has one chapter, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. These be those who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. And by the way, this just happens to be a new playground area under construction. But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keeping yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. So, as the whole world has been talking about what a crazy year 2020 has turned out to be, there's a reason 2020 has been crazy. And it's a good news, bad news situation. For those who are saved and ready, the rapture is very soon. Otherwise, the worst seven years the world will ever experience is straight ahead. God is seriously trying to get people's attention, including waking up the Christians who don't realize the times we're in. The Bible tells us to watch and pray and comfort each other. And we're looking for that blessed hope as Christ is coming to get those who are ready to rapture us out of this world before the tribulation. Taking a look at Luke 18, verses 7 and 8. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, Will the son, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? And looking at Daniel 12, verse 10, Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And that reminds us of the parable of the five wise and the five foolish virgins. 
referring to the wives who were diligent to have the oil needed for their lamps versus the unwise which were unprepared and going to take a little walk on down to Stone Creek Falls here at Platte River State Park it's just a short distance north along Stone Creek and for many of us this is a special time of year when we enjoy being outdoors a lot um, enjoying the beautiful autumn foliage and the more comfortable weather crossing over Stone Creek so it's a good time to get out and walk and give praise and thanks to the Lord for all that he's done for us especially as we remember Thanksgiving is coming up next month and taking a look at Revelation 3 starting in verse 2 be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die for I have not found thy works perfect before God and remember God doesn't expect us to be perfect as salvation is a gift for those who believe and repent and choose to follow him picking up in verse 3 remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent if therefore thou shalt not watch I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee And taking a look at Revelation 3, verse 5. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So remember, we don't want to be ashamed of him because especially we don't want him to be ashamed of us in the presence of his father and the angels. And we're to look for those opportunities to tell people about Jesus Christ and to find fellowship among fellow Christians and to encourage each other along the way in verse 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth and there's some deer moving around here in the woods They were kind of camouflaged with the autumn foliage, so a little hard to see the deer at the moment. Looking at verses 19 through 21. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my father in his throne. So remember, God chastens those whom he loves. Taking a look at Revelation 4 and verses 1 and 2. And after this I looked, and behold... A door was open in heaven and the first voice which I heard 
was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one set on the throne. Remember to keep looking up. <laughs> 